kind of like scary to vlog. We just finished our tour at Queens. We saw um, the residences. Saw a dining hall. The new student center building, like the ARC. What does that stand for again? Athletics and Recreation Center. And we saw the gym. Their gym is really nice. They have like two basketball courts and like lots of squash courts. They have so many squash courts. I didn't know people played squash. Our tour guide told us about all the, how like meal plans work. Oh yeah, we saw a lecture hall. It was so big and they were using Comic Sans. I was confused. Oh, the library too. I don't know. It's kind of just a standard library. The thing about Queens is that all the buildings are really, really old. So like. They all look really cool on the outside, but they're also like very outdated on the inside, I would think. Yeah, the campus is pretty nice in general. She said that mostly you kind of just stay in this university bubble, which is like the university campus itself, and then downtown, which is like a 15 minute walk away. You don't really see all of Kingston unless you go out of your way to, but your student um, card or whatever gets to see a lot of things. It's like your bus pass, your meal card pass, you did like pretty much everything. Um, that's how you get into the gym. How do you make waffle fries? I don't get that. I asked her what other schools she applied to when she was deciding for first year. Carlton and Laurier. Um, she said that she chose Queens because it had a lot more uh, like student life. There were more clubs and more intramurals, so things to involve herself in. She said that she was really involved in high school, so she wanted to continue that. And then she also really liked the look of the campus. It was really pretty, and it was on the lake, and yeah. Hey, so we just got to London last night. It was really dark, so I didn't video anything when we were coming in. We're gonna be on our way to Western this morning. I'll show you guys it when we're closer. To the most high, regardless of what happened on him, let's rely. Hey, so I just finished the tour at Western, and I liked Western a lot, actually. We met in the University Community Center, and it's basically like they just have a lot of food there, and uh, that's where the student council is run out of. Um, it's just a really big building and they kept saying that it was really busy all the time and they said that it's actually quiet when we went because of exams but it was actually still pretty active in there. Uh, our guide was actually from Vancouver, he went to VC. We talked about that for a bit but he showed us a lecture hall, um, it was really big, the seats were purple, I enjoy that. He took us to two faculties, so social sciences because there's another girl in the group who was applying to that. And then he also took us around a bit of the science buildings for me. We went to go see um, a library, one of the science buildings, and showed us a chem lab. Um, we walked through the earth sciences building and there's a wall of a whole bunch of cool rocks. It was literally just a whole hallway of cool rocks and I really enjoyed that. So. <laughs> walked through some other buildings to get to some of the, like, the rec centers. The campus is quite a bit bigger than Queens, I would say. 
a lot more buildings. We went to the recreation center, which is where they have like the weight gym and the pool. And they also said that they have an indoor track and skating rink. It's really big, and he said that that's a newer building. We didn't get any videos of it because he said not to film anyone working out, so I just practiced that. After that, we headed over to the, look at the residences and we went to go see Delaware, which is one of the closer residences to the campus, and it's traditional style residence. We also saw some of the dining halls and like their common rooms. We got a glimpse of a bathroom. They don't seem too bad and they're cleaned every day, so like they seem pretty good. And then after we looked at that, which is a traditional style, we went to a sweet style one and basically it's like a little apartment building and you share like a kitchen and a living space with um, three other people. The girl who was giving us the tour, we saw her room. There we also saw another common room. Residences are kind of cute, they kind of just have like random things all over the walls and they have like memes taped to the walls, stuff like that. We saw their dining hall as well, then that was pretty much the end of the tour. We went to the bookstore and I got a shirt. Then we went for lunch at this really yummy plant matter place. So if I come to Western, I'll probably be going back there because they had really good vegan mac and cheese. And I appreciate a good vegan mac and cheese. So we're on our way to Hamilton now. So see you there. So we just finished the McMaster tour and I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm not that impressed by McMaster. Um, it seemed really quiet there and there's a lot of construction. I just felt like a little dead there. <laughs> I don't know, that's harsh, but it just like, I feel like there wasn't as much student life at McMaster as there was at Western or Queens. We started the tour and we walked outside. She took us to a lecture hall and she showed us one of the bio labs. We walked through the social science building. Um, she said that the campus is like a really long skinny rectangle, so it's like five minutes to walk across it the short way and 20 minutes to walk up and down it the long way. And like everything's pretty close together. It's like a mid-sized university. Um, we also went to like the athletic center and we saw the gym there. She said that there's a pool, a track, um, weight rooms, a rock climbing wall. Um, they offer spin classes, those type of classes. Uh, they also have squash courts, of course, as well as basketball courts and volleyball courts. We saw the track, the field, where they play football. Um, and then we went over to go see the residences. And the residences out of the three universities I saw this trip, these ones were probably the dingiest. <laughs> I don't know, it seemed really like dark in there. The rooms were really small. The dining hall or whatever. I think it was like not bad actually. It looked really old from the outside, but we walked in and it like was the same type of feel as the other ones. I don't know, I just wasn't as impressed with this one as much as the other ones. I feel like you feel the same thing though. Yeah. I feel like there's more, yeah, like it was very blah, this one. Out of the three that I saw, this one's at the bottom. So, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, that was McMaster. We're on our way to Toronto now. 
and our flight leaves tonight, so. Resurrect till dawn and help the music survive. So join me on this ride.